Hi everyone, greetings and welcome. This is the April Earth Prediction Series. We use these cards that you can see in front of you. This is called the Psy Deck, devised by Carl Jung's theory or theorem of collective consciousness. So each card has a particular archetype or uh, energy associated with it. In the normal reading for the Psy cards, they're not quite the way I interpret them for this particular Earth Predictions readings. The meanings of each card are actually slightly different, but I have um, devised this particular reading from my own divination energies and calculations of what the cards mean. So anyhow, let's shuffle and see what shows up here for the global predictions for April 2017. April is set to be a powerful month, but there is a lot of light energy around the planet as well. So there's a degree of protection um, in the month of April. Let's see what comes up. Okay. The first card is the skills. The second is the tree. The third is the beast. The fourth is the beauty. The fifth is friendship and the sixth is father. Now I have a feeling some of these came out last month. I think the skills might have done. And I also think maybe the tree or the beast. Anyhow, let's start with what reference um, each of the cards are pulling up for the month. The skills card, which is the first one up here, um, we will start with. Now the cards don't necessarily represent the time frame of the month. So often when we start a reading we would say that's the beginning of April at this card and then the end of April would be this card. But I feel there is more um, flow within this reading and there isn't necessarily a set time frame. Sometimes they do fall into that paradigm but often it's more free flowing. So we'll start at the skills. The skills card to me is about um, bows and arrows and interestingly we've got obviously <laughs> we have bows and arrows there and in here so we've got a duplicated message going on. Now from my perspective the two main energies that both of those cards pull out are warring tensions because they are weapons of war and that's often hand to hand combat. So in April we might see some um, ramping up of some sort of hand to hand combat around the globe. This could be up in places like the Middle East. There might be some breakthrough there with ISIS and um, pushing them back. This could be further afield in uh, slightly more unexpected places, but still possibly in the areas of the northern hemisphere of the globe. The other things that it pertains to is stuff falling from the sky, because the arrows in this card in particular have been shot up and then they've come down and landed. Now this can be things that come from the sky such as asteroids, meteorites, um, space things like the SpaceX rockets. They can be going up and coming down normally but they can also be unexpected coming back to Earth, so falling out of space. So rockets that don't take off as well as they're meant to and explode or um, bits that come back down into earth, you know, when we see some of those re-entry um, pieces of debris, space junk that come back down, there could be some of those in April. As well, there could also be an increase in fireballs and things like meteorites and asteroids coming into our space. As well, there could be new comets, there could be comets going past in April that are visible to the eye, or new ones, or sun diving comets. Or something to do with our space technology programs and awareness of them or problems with them up in space. So lots to think about with those cards but they are, those two in particular have very similar meaning and that's primarily the feeling of both of them. The tree card talks to us uh, about family issues and family tree issues quite often. So we can see this pop up when families are pulled apart or torn asunder and there is humiliation or def defamatory issues brought against families 
So we've seen this sometimes when a big case around the world is um, brought to the public stage and someone has committed a terrible crime, like a, somebody's son might have done a mass, committed a mass murder or something and the family have to suffer the denigration of that and, and their whole pain and trauma through that. So there could be something like that in the news again in April. It's a pretty sad energy from that perspective. No one wants to be in that position when there are such negative um, energies around. But an example of that is the man who just did the terrorist attack in London and his mother said a few days afterwards, she said, I just want to disown him. It's so vile what he's done. And um, I would do the same. It's beyond comprehension that people could want to be out there killing or, you know, mass murdering or d hurting others. So that's often what the tree has. The other perspectives of the tree is that it's about our trees being harmed or um, coming to realise about our climate and our earth and our planet. So there might be some more information about climate change or climate extremes and for the, um, the majority of us coming to understand that this is a very rapidly evolving situation and there's no turning back. And we are now at the um, cusp stage of it. We're at the autumn stage of trying to get a grasp on how to help uh, stay living on this planet so that we're not um, going to end up with no home to live. So the tree can be, you see the tree and you see its roots below the ground and how far the roots go. I think it is a complex card that we haven't quite got all the meaning of yet. So I'm working through now the whole perspectives of the type of um, connection to earth and the message that that tree is giving us on how dire things are becoming. Um, the other thing is too, it's very red, so it looks like heat and it looks like fires. So somewhere this could be suggesting a very hot part of the earth where perhaps there are forest fires burning or many fires burning for one reason or another. We get to the beast next door and he is kind of similar. He is very fiery, so it's about hot fiery energies. He is underground or in a tunnel, so this is often about a, um, underground energy heating up. So we think of predominantly volcanoes exploding. We had the very large Mount Etna eruption in, I think it was March. This could be ongoing or we could see other very large volcanic activity eruptions. Some of them will be new, as in they haven't erupted for some time. I believe Iceland is on alert for um, eruption of some volcanoes up there, so perhaps we're getting activity up that way. The other thing the beast can indicate is underground activity such as earthquakes. So um, the possibility of quite strong quake activity. I can't put a definitive uh, necessary part of the globe that I'm picking up from that, but that beast looks a little bit oriental, so possibly in oriental type or parts of the world, that's a possibility. The other thing is the beast, he, he's a red, angry looking creature. We think of um, political leaders as well, who we think of as being beasts, so that's often thought of as North Korea, um, sometimes um, up through Russia and China, you know, the communist type countries. Some people think of Trump as a beast, um, that's yet to be <laughs> designated, but some of those political leaders may well be in the um, heightened active zone, so they do something that's creating a fiery active energy. We come to the beauty card, she's a gorgeous woman standing there, very calm looking at her reflection. The reflection is showing us a very older building like a castle, so I often think of this as being in and around the, interestingly enough, the areas of England and sometimes London itself, but certainly anywhere through Europe where we have those beautiful older castles and architecture. So sometimes this can be a female who is uh, well known globally, such as a princess or a queen, 
or a political leader such as Angela Merkel, someone like that who, um, once again, the spotlight is focused on them for some reason that is probably not normal. That's what we could say. So it could pertain to news that wouldn't be um, everyday run-of-the-mill news with those people. The other thing it can often portray are movie stars and celebrity females who also are in the limelight for a reason that would not necessarily be the best reason. We come down to the friendship card. We see down here uh, three people uh, happily engaging in conversation but there's a hidden hand coming in from the side. And this often tells us that talks or negotiations that are currently on the table and about to be signed are suddenly turned asunder because there's a fourth person coming in who doesn't like it and mucks it all up. Now these can be high-end political talks within any country that is doing negotiations. And at the moment we see a lot of um, negotiation going on through the Brexit, through uh, Scotland and England. So something there might go asunder. We also see talks up through Europe and um, to do with all of their the same same type of things along with it's involved in part with the Brexit talks but it's creating their own political um, steamballing events. We also note that this looks like an old building as well and they're dressed in very old slightly European looking clothes. So I have a lot of feeling about European energy for the month of April and that could carry us through to the Middle East areas as well. Um, because the American presidency and political arena is also in the very cusp of making many, many plans and decisions, and we see a lot of what Trump tries to put through either being negated or turned over or changed, I feel that this will continue in April. I think he's finding that very um, stressful. It's getting to him at a personal level, not that he's showing it um, out in the public arena but it will be starting to really wear him down and I think he might have a couple of more quite large ones coming where that where his um, signature on the paper is literally turned around again so we'll have to keep an eye out and see which one of his policies are not being pushed through as April wears in we get to the father card, I've discussed it a little bit before in tying it in with the skills in saying that we're definitely talking about um, military action, hand-to-hand -hand combat and also things coming from the sky. So this, can, this card shows us a very laden sky, they're very wet and full of moisture in the background. So this one can also infer weather, like just plummeting from the sky, so rains like water gushing from the sky and these people are looking at it going my god look at this I think that it's connected with the tree card and the beast that this whole climate change and climate extreme is um, very very quickly exponentially growing in pace and speed and severity of the events that are occurring um, it's something that we'll talk about for the 2018 prediction actually that I'm working on at the moment. But also the father card pointing to the sky, they are definitely looking at things that are traversing our sky. So I'm, I'm most definitely thinking of comets and fireballs, um, things that we look up to sky, unusual planetary alignments, things to do with the sun and the moon as well as planes, so issues with planes, again we had quite a few in March, there could be quite a few in April, any type of planes, helicopters and or space events. So there we are guys, that's a very comprehensive reading, there were actually quite a lot of thoughts that kept coming once we started doing it. So we'll keep our eyes on the month of April, it is a powerful month, it's also set to be a busy month on the world stage by all accounts. Thanks for tuning in and I really love it when you leave your comments and your um, perspectives of each card because I often take, you know, you read all the comments and you take other people's ideas on board and that's how this whole journey of divination evolves. So thank you very much for tuning in and watching and I wish you all a safe, happy, prosperous April. Take care everyone. Namaste.